Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Today, I would like to talk to you about the power of prayer. Prayer is an essential part of our Christian faith. It is the way we communicate with God and seek His guidance and blessings. Prayer is a powerful tool that can transform our lives and the lives of those around us. The Bible teaches us that prayer is an essential part of our Christian journey. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18, we are told to always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. These verses remind us that prayer is not just something we do when we need something, but it is a constant conversation with God. Prayer is not just about asking for things, but also about praising God and thanking Him for what He has done for us. In Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, we read, Don't worry about anything, instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need, and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. When we pray, we should not be anxious or worried but instead, we should place our trust in God and let Him take care of our needs. Moreover, prayer is not just for our personal benefit but also for the benefit of others. In James 5 verse 16, we are told to confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. This verse teaches us that prayer has the power to heal us both physically and spiritually. It also emphasizes the importance of praying for one another as a community of believers. Prayer is a powerful tool that can transform our lives and the lives of those around us. It is a constant conversation with God that reminds us of His love and faithfulness. As we go through our daily lives, let us not forget to pray, to praise, and to thank God for all He has done for us. Let us also pray for one another, that we may all experience God's peace and healing. But as much as prayer is important, we need to understand that prayer is not just about getting what we want from God. Sometimes, we may pray for something, and it may seem like God is not answering our prayers. In those moments, we may be tempted to give up on prayer or doubt God's love for us. But we need to remember that God's ways are not our ways, and His thoughts are not our thoughts, Isaiah 55 verses 8 to 9. God may not always answer our prayers the way we expect Him to, but we can trust that He has our best interests at heart. We also need to understand that prayer is not a magic formula that guarantees us success or blessings. Sometimes, we may pray for something, and it may not come to pass. In those moments, we may be tempted to think that prayer does not work or that God does not care. But we need to remember that prayer is not about getting what we want but about aligning our will with God's will. In Matthew 6 verse 10, Jesus teaches us to pray, Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. When we pray, we should seek God's will and trust that His plans for us are good, Jeremiah 29 verse 11. We need to remember that prayer is not just about words but about our heart's posture. In Matthew 6 verses 5 to 6, Jesus warns us about praying to be seen by others and encourages us to pray in secret, where only God can see us. When we pray, we should not just go through the motions or recite empty words. Instead, we should approach God with sincerity and humility, recognizing that we are in the presence of the Almighty. Prayer is a vital part of our Christian walk, but it is not just about asking for things or getting what we want. It is about aligning our will with God's will, trusting in His love and faithfulness, and seeking His kingdom above all else. Let us, therefore, approach God's throne of grace with confidence, knowing that He hears our prayers and that He will answer them according to His perfect will. Let us take a moment to reflect on our prayer life. Are we approaching prayer with the right attitude? Are we seeking God's will above our own? Are we praying for the benefit of others as well as ourselves? Let us ask the Holy Spirit to help us grow in our prayer life, to deepen our relationship with God, and to align our hearts with His. 
I would like to leave you with these words from Colossians 4 verse 2, devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. May we be devoted to prayer, always being alert and thankful for the opportunity to communicate with God. And may our prayer life be a source of strength, comfort, and transformation in our lives and the lives of those around us. Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of prayer. Help us to approach prayer with sincerity, humility, and a desire to align our will with yours. May our prayer life be a source of strength, comfort, and transformation in our lives and the lives of those around us. We come before you today with hearts filled with gratitude for the gift of prayer. Thank you for the privilege of being able to communicate with you, knowing that you hear and answer our prayers. Lord, we ask that you help us to approach prayer with the right attitude. May we seek your will above our own and trust that your plans for us are good. Help us to grow in our prayer life, to deepen our relationship with you, and to align our hearts with yours. We pray that our prayers may be a source of strength, comfort, and transformation in our lives and the lives of those around us. May we not be selfish in our prayers but also pray for the benefit of others. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love and faithfulness, and we trust that you will answer our prayers according to your perfect will. May our prayer life bring glory and honor to your name. Father, we also ask that you help us to understand that prayer is not just about words but about our heart's posture. May we approach you with sincerity and humility, recognizing that we are in the presence of the Almighty. Lord, we confess that we may have been tempted to give up on prayer or doubt your love for us when we did not receive what we prayed for. We pray for your forgiveness and ask that you help us to trust in your ways, which are not our ways. We thank you for this reminder that prayer is not a magic formula for success or blessings but about aligning our will with yours. May we always seek your kingdom above all else. May our prayers be pleasing you, O Lord, and may you continue to bless us abundantly. Thank you for hearing our prayers, and we trust that you will answer them according to your perfect will. We pray all these things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.